Here's the concern, two different points that I want your take on. Um, and I look, I know you know the situation better. I know that these are your people uh, that are dying here right now. But one is that Israel is making a choice and is doing this and is hitting civilian centers. Aren't you worried that they're creating the next generation of resistance? And the 20-day notice that you gave the F-bomb to, there is a lot of reporting on the ground that says it's not safe for them to leave and that there's nowhere for them to go because there's no real humanitarian zone set up. Look, I, my heart breaks for the death of the Gaza people, but I have been saying this for over 20 years, that Hamas is dangerous. And today I tell them Hamas is your greatest enemy. Why don't you stand against Hamas? Why don't they have the power to renounce Hamas and to say this does not represent us? I cannot blame Israel. I'm not saying that killing civilians is okay, but in war, people die. And by the way, a premature ceasefire today will lead to more violence, certainly to more violence. If we don't eradicate Hamas now, whatever it takes. And please excuse me, forgive me for ri rising my voice. You know, this is very frustrating. All those clowns coming, speaking on behalf of the Palestinian people. They don't care for the Palestinian people. They don't care for Israel. They are a bunch of hypocrites. They better be silent.